Welcome to Cooking with Bobby Joe. On this episode of the Lake Hill City Birds, I'm going to be doing a hummingbird feeder review. These are available on Amazon. It was sent to me for free to do a review. And I do honest reviews. I'll come back in a few months and do a follow-up review to let you know if I'm still satisfied with the product or not. This hummingbird feeder comes in a beautiful box. And that box matches my kitchen. The lighting's not too good right now because it's a cloudy day. So I don't have any sun coming through my window. But it's a bluish green box. It's really pretty. And look at the inside. These are beautifully packaged. These are hand-blown glass feeders, and I like that they are small. And the reason that I like that they are small is because the nectar should be changed often, especially in hot weather. When our temperatures were above 90 degrees, I changed it daily. When it's cooler like it is today, we're in the 70s, I change it every two or three days. Dangerous bacteria can form in the feeders that aren't changed often. The sugar water will ferment and just go bad. I never understood why large feeders are sold because a lot of people don't realize they're supposed to change the nectar. So they fill it up to the top and they leave it out there for months. Also make sure to clean the feeders weekly. And these hand-blown glass feeders, they're dishwasher safe. So if you don't want to have to clean them by hand, you can place them in the dishwasher. This comes with replacement flowers. And these silicone flowers are beautifully crafted. They're soft, so they're not going to hurt the hummingbird's tongue. The instructions say step one is to pour the sugar water into the glass ball, but I disagree with that. Step one for me is always rinsing out the glass balls. I always rinse my feeders with hot water before placing anything in them. I want to make sure that they're good and clean. Now here is what is so beautiful about this hummingbird feeder. It is made into a wind chime design. These wires that hold it are very durable. So now that they're cleaned, I'm going to go ahead and fill the glass balls with sugar water. So it's simple to make sugar water for hummingbirds. All you have to do is boil one cup of water and a fourth a cup of sugar. You let it dissolve and then you let it cool before you place it in the glass balls. And I'm just going to use my small funnel to pour some in because these are small and it's going to need something to keep it from spilling everywhere. I know some people will probably complain because there are no perches on the glass feeders. Hummingbirds do not need perches when they're feeding. Hummingbirds always hover over or around flowers in order to feed. They're not using perches on flowers, so why would they need perches if they're feeding on feeders? Perches are used when they are resting. They will use feeders without perches, just like they will use the ones with perches. You can hang a perch near your feeder if you want. They sell hummingbird perches on Amazon. The hummingbirds in my yard usually just rest on the tree branches above. My Sea Rock City hummingbird feeder is also a hand-blown glass hummingbird feeder, and the hummingbirds enjoy it too. Oh, one more thing about glass hummingbird feeders. You do not want to leave water in them over winter because that will freeze and it'll, sometimes it can crack the glass. I usually bring my glass hummingbird feeders in during the winter. Okay, let's take it outside and see if we can get some hummingbirds in action. Okay, so I hung it out here. I went inside to get my tripod and GoPro, which I haven't set up yet, but when I came back, it already had a hummingbird on it. But isn't it pretty? So I'm going to get my tripod and GoPro set up and hopefully we'll get some good hummingbird footage. It's starting to rain, but the hummingbirds love the rain, so they'll be out here. Right now is hummingbird migration season here in the United States. So if you have plenty of flowers in your garden and nectar in your feeders, you may see some hummingbirds you haven't seen before. All right, you wanna make sure you hang this on something sturdy. And I'm gonna hang it here on my shepherd's hook while I clean my other hummingbird feeders that were hanging here. I'm gonna sit out here with my camera and try to snap some photos while the GoPro is recording.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that hummingbird footage. The hummingbirds seem to enjoy this feeder very much. It's supposed to also be bee resistant, but I usually don't have issues with bees. The bees prefer flowers in the garden over the hummingbird feeders. I will leave a link to this feeder in the video description if you want to check it out. Also check out my webpage for this week's bird blog. The link is in the video description. It is more info about hummingbirds and their feeders and migration. So thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching and I hope y'all have a very blessed day.